Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Deep Dive Knowledge Talk. Greetings readers. To explore the fascinating realm of thermodynamic computing and its intriguing connections to AI and quantum computing, I'm delighted to engage in an interview with an expert in the field. Before we delve into the specifics, could you shed some light on the fundamental principles underlying thermodynamic computing? Absolutely. Imagine a computer that operates based on the principles of thermodynamics, the study of heat and energy flow. Instead of relying solely on the deterministic, binary logic of traditional computers, thermodynamic computing embraces the inherent randomness and fluctuations of the physical world. It's like harnessing the power of nature's unpredictability to perform complex calculation. Intriguing. So, how does this unique approach translate into practical applications? Could you elaborate on the specific advantages that thermodynamic computing offers over conventional methods, particularly in the realm of AI development? Thermodynamic computing offers several advantages, particularly in the field of AI development. Energy efficiency. Thermodynamic computing is much more energy efficient than traditional computing methods. This is because it uses the laws of thermodynamics to perform calculations, which are inherently more efficient than the electrical methods used in traditional computing. Speed. Thermodynamic computing is also much faster than traditional computing methods. This is because it can perform calculations in parallel, which allows it to process large amounts of data very quickly. Delability. Thermodynamic computing is also more scalable than traditional computing methods. This is because it can be used to build computers of any size, from small devices to large supercomputers. These advantages make thermodynamic computing an ideal candidate for AI development. AI applications often require large amounts of data to be processed quickly and efficiently. Thermodynamic computing can provide the speed, efficiency, and scalability needed to meet these demands. Thank you for providing those insights. Could you further elaborate on how thermodynamic computing is specifically utilized in AI development? Are there any particular AI tasks or algorithms that benefit significantly from its unique capabilities? Thermodynamic computing is a new type of computing that uses the laws of thermodynamics to perform calculations. This is in contrast to traditional computing, which uses the laws of electromagnetism to perform calculation. Thermodynamic computing has a number of advantages over traditional computing including lower energy consumption. Thermodynamic computing does not require the use of transistors, which consume a lot of energy. This makes thermodynamic computing much more energy efficient than traditional computing. Smaller size. Thermodynamic computing devices can be much smaller than traditional computing devices. This is because thermodynamic computing does not require the use of large amounts of transistors. Faster speed. Thermodynamic computing devices can be much faster than traditional computing devices. This is because thermodynamic computing can take advantage of the laws of thermodynamics to perform calculations in parallel. Thermodynamic computing is still in its early stages of development, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we compute. It could lead to the development of new types of computers that are smaller, faster, and more energy efficient than traditional computers. Thermodynamic computing could be used to perform a variety of AI tasks, including natural language processing. Thermodynamic computing could be used to develop new algorithms for natural language processing that are more efficient and accurate than existing algorithms. Machine learning. Thermodynamic computing could be used to develop new machine learning algorithms that are more efficient and accurate than existing algorithms. Computer vision. Thermodynamic computing could be used to develop new computer vision algorithms that are more efficient and accurate than existing algorithms. A. Thermodynamic computing is a promising new technology that has the potential to revolutionize the way we compute. It could lead to the development of new types of computers that are smaller, faster, and more energy efficient than traditional computers. Thermodynamic computing could also be used to perform a variety of AI tasks, including natural language processing, machine learning, and computer vision. Thank you for providing those insights. Could you further elaborate on how thermodynamic computing is specifically utilized in AI development? 
Are there any particular AI tasks or algorithms that benefit significantly from its unique capabilities? Sure, I can help you with that. I'm happy to explain how thermodynamic computing is used in AI development and provide specific examples of tasks and algorithms that benefit from its unique capability. Thermodynamic computing is a new field that explores the use of thermodynamics to perform computations. It is based on the idea that information can be encoded in the physical properties of a system, such as its temperature, volume, and pressure. By manipulating these properties, it is possible to perform computations in a way that is much more efficient than traditional methods. One of the most promising applications of thermodynamic computing is in the field of artificial intelligence, AI. Nair. AI algorithms are often very computationally intensive, and traditional methods can be slow and inefficient. Thermodynamic computing offers a way to perform these computations much faster and with less energy consumption. There are a number of different ways that thermodynamic computing can be used to develop AI algorithms. One common approach is to use a technique called reservoir computing. In reservoir computing, a complex system is used to generate a reservoir of data. This data is then used to train an AI algorithm. The advantage of this approach is that it can be used to train AI algorithms on very large data sets, which can lead to improved performance. Another approach to using thermodynamic computing for AI development is to use a technique called stochastic computing. In stochastic computing, random fluctuations in the physical properties of a system are used to perform computations. This approach can be used to develop AI algorithms that are more robust to noise and uncertainty. Thermodynamic computing is still a relatively new field, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way that AI algorithms are developed. By exploiting the laws of thermodynamics, Thermodynamic computing can offer a way to perform computations that are much faster, more efficient, and more robust than traditional methods. Here are some specific examples of AI tasks and algorithms that can benefit from the unique capabilities of thermodynamic computing. Image recognition. Thermodynamic computing can be used to develop image recognition algorithms that are more accurate and efficient than traditional methods. This is because thermodynamic computing can be used to extract features from images in a way that is more robust to noise and distortion. Natural language processing. Thermodynamic computing can be used to develop natural language processing algorithms that are more accurate and efficient than traditional method. This is because thermodynamic computing can be used to represent and process language in a way that is more natural and intuitive. Machine learning. Thermodynamic computing can be used to develop machine learning algorithms that are more accurate and efficient than traditional methods. This is because thermodynamic computing can be used to train machine learning algorithms on very large data set, which can lead to improved performance. These are just a few examples of the many ways that thermodynamic computing can be used to develop AI algorithms. As the field continues to develop, we can expect to see even more innovative, and groundbreaking applications of this technology. Thank you for the detailed explanation. To delve deeper, could you provide insights into how thermodynamic computing specifically complements quantum computing, and if there are any potential synergies between the two domains? Thermodynamic computing and quantum computing have a synergistic relationship, with each offering unique advantages that can complement the other. Thermodynamic computing operates on the principles of thermodynamics, the study of energy, and its transformations. It leverages the natural processes of heat and energy flow to perform computation. This approach offers several benefits, including low energy consumption, high parallelism, and the ability to handle complex problems that are difficult for traditional digital computers. Quantum computing, on the other hand, harnesses the principles of quantum mechanics to perform computations. It utilizes quantum bits or qubits which can exist in multiple states simultaneously, unlike classical bits that are restricted to zero or one. This allows quantum computers to solve certain types of problems exponentially faster than classical computers. By combining the strengths of both approaches, we can create hybrid systems that leverage the advantages of both thermodynamic computing and quantum computing. 
for instance. Thermodynamic computing can provide a low energy and highly parallel study for pre-processing and post-processing tasks. While quantum computing can handle the complex computations in between. This synergistic approach can enhance the overall efficiency, performance and capabilities of computing systems, enabling us to address even more challenging problems and drive advancements in various fields, such as artificial intelligence. Such as artificial intelligence, materials science and drug discovery. Thank you for shedding light on the synergistic relationship between thermodynamic computing and quantum computing. To further explore their integration, could you provide specific examples of how these two technologies can be combined in practical applications, and what are the potential benefits of such hybrid systems? Thermodynamic computing is a new type of computing that uses the principles of thermodynamics to perform calculations. This means that it uses heat and other forms of energy to perform operations, rather than using electricity like traditional computers. Thermodynamic computing is still in its early stages of development but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about computing. One of the biggest advantages of thermodynamic computing is that it is much more energy efficient than traditional computing. This is because it uses heat and other forms of energy that are already present in the environment, rather than using electricity that has to be generated. Another advantage of thermodynamic computing is that it can be used to perform calculations that are not possible with traditional computers. For example, thermodynamic computers can be used to simulate complex physical systems, such as the weather or the human body. Thermodynamic computing is a promising new technology that has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about computing. It is still in its early stages of development, but it has the potential to make a significant impact on a wide range of fields, including AI, quantum computing and medicine. Thank you for the comprehensive insights into thermodynamic computing. As a follow-up question, could you elaborate on the potential applications of thermodynamic computing in the field of artificial intelligence, AI? How does it complement or enhance AI capabilities, and what specific advantages does it offer over traditional computing approaches in this domain? Thermodynamic computing operates in a way that mimics biological systems. It uses heat as its energy source and leverages the laws of nature to perform complex calculation. This approach has the potential to significantly reduce energy consumption compared to traditional computing methods. In the context of AI, thermodynamic computing can provide several advantages. 1 to 1. Energy efficiency. As mentioned earlier, thermodynamic computing consumes less energy than traditional computing method. This is particularly important for AI applications that require extensive computation and can benefit from reduced operating costs and a smaller environmental footprint. 1. When home tunnel. 2. Well. Analog computation. Thermodynamic computing operates in an analog manner, which allows for continuous and parallel processing. This can be advantageous for AI tasks that involve complex, non-linear relationships and require real-time decision-making. Rizal time. D and A. 3. 3. Fault tolerance. Biological systems have evolved to be fault tolerant, meaning they can continue functioning even in the presence of error. Thermodynamic computing can inherit this property, making it more robust and reliable for AI applications that require high levels of accuracy and reliability. These advantages make thermodynamic computing a promising approach for advancing AI development. It has the potential to enable the creation of more energy efficient, powerful and reliable AI systems. Thank you all for joining us today. We've had a fascinating discussion on thermodynamic computing, a groundbreaking field that has the potential to revolutionize AI development. Throughout our conversation, we've highlighted the key advantages of thermodynamic computing energy efficiency, enhanced speed, and scalability. Its unique capabilities make it an ideal complement to quantum computing, opening up possibilities for hybrid systems with unprecedented efficiency and performance. In the realm of AI, thermodynamic computing offers exciting prospects. It can reduce energy consumption, support analog computation, and provide fault tolerance. 
These benefits make it a promising approach for advancing AI capabilities, particularly in complex calculations and real-time decision-making. As we delve further into this emerging field, we can anticipate even greater advancements that will shape the future of AI to AI. Thank you again for your participation. And we look forward to continuing this exploration in the future.